Actress Christina Ricci might lay low from the public eye at times, but rest assured she's living in luxury. She once owned and lived in the impressive residence known as the Navarro House in LA, and after moving in 2005 from there, she would land a million dollar Los Feliz estate. Finally, the actress would get married and she and her family would then pick up and move to Brooklyn, New York. But in recent years, she's had some scary stuff happen there. But either way, let's take a look at Christina's homes. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Christina Ricci is an actress with something of a knack for portraying characters with an edge. When Christina was only eight, she caught the attention of a local theater critic while performing in her school's production of The 12 Days of Christmas. Shortly after, she would appear in a pair of spoof commercials on NBC's landmark series Saturday Night Live. By 1990, Christina was already making her big screen debut at the age of 10, alongside Cher in the film Mermaids. If I, if I was trying to be something else, it might I might feel pressure, but kind of remember that I'm 15 and I'm still going through my awkward stage and, you know, or whatever. It's not, I don't know. Soon enough, Christina was being recognized as one of the most talented young actors on the planet and she was booking regular gigs. In fact, she became so successful that not only would she acquire a net worth estimated to be in the ballpark of $8 million, she also purchased herself an artistic masterpiece of a home, a residence that's commonly known as the Navarro House in Los Angeles. After living here for some time, the actress would move on to some other properties, including one in Los Feliz and then in New York. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment today looking at the homes of Christina Ricci. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. By far the most famous place Christina has ever lived was the Navarro House, built by Frank Lloyd Wright Jr. It boasts a Mayan revival design that's considered unique among architectural works. Originally built in 1928 for silent film star Ramon Navarro's personal secretary, the house later reverted back to Navarro when it became clear that his secretary was embezzling from him. This house would later be owned by a host of famous celebrities, including Diane Keaton, Leonard Bernstein, and Yes, Christina Ricci. Holding three bedrooms, three baths, as well as 2,690 square feet of space, the residence is nestled into a hillside. It also incorporates the surrounding environment into its design. Concrete surfaces and oxidized copper accents give the house its Mayan feel, and there are also horizontal bands of windows. Inside the home, there's an open layout with a series of main rooms that lead from one into the other. The central living room, anchored by a large fireplace, steps down at one end to the dining room with casement-style windows and doors that open to an exterior dining terrace. At the opposite end of that same living room is a lounge with more casement style windows, as well as doors that lead out to the eye-popping swimming pool that's been set into a high-walled courtyard for complete privacy. The kitchen, meanwhile, is surprisingly small but decidedly high-end with its materials and finishes. It's also been totally modernized with its white shaker-style cabinets and its thick slab marble counters. Upstairs, the main bedroom boasts a minimalist ensuite bathroom, the most interesting part of which is definitely the decorative screen made out of three-dimensional arrowhead-shaped concrete blocks. Then for the guest rooms, one of them is oversized with its very own sitting area and opens up to a sizable terrace. And nearby, there's a home office too, which also boasts a bed. As for outside, while well, the lush and landscaped grounds include gardens, a columned courtyard, and multiple terraces. Unfortunately, Christina's stay here was a relatively short one. She was reported to have purchased the home in the mid-2000s for just under $3 million. Within the span of a year, she'd be selling the property again and taking a reported $100,000 loss in the process. But at least she had a new property in Los Feliz to fall back on. Shortly after moving off the Navarro house, Christina secured herself a spot in the coveted neighborhood of Los Feliz in the Hollywood Hills. And while this home might not be winning any awards in terms of its sheer size, it still offers plenty of charm. Christina paid just over $1.5 million for this property in 2005 
and she then set about giving this traditional and unassuming home something of a designer's edge. While plain Jane looking on the outside, inside each room has been given its own feel with a blend of mid-century and rustic highlights. As you can see, there's the contrasting style of the home's wooden floors with the bright and unusual wallpaper posted throughout. Listing information suggests that this home measures a little over 1,800 square feet and includes two bedrooms and two baths. On the interior, Christina's formal living room comes complete with a wood-burning fireplace as well as some casual furniture. Meanwhile, the dining room orbits around a gorgeous and glossy Parsons style table and a chocolate colored animal skin rug. Just beyond that is a cozy and skylit family room with a fireplace. Nearby, there's a kitchen that connects the dining room with a breakfast nook. The kitchen also boasts gold and brown flecked granite countertops that sit atop flat fronted white cabinets, as well as stainless steel appliances. For such a modest sized family home, the place has a surprisingly massive three room primary bedroom, which includes a sitting area, the bedroom, and a blood red colored dressing room. The attached bath offers two pedestal sinks with small round mirrors that flank a large window, as well as a skylit walk-in shower made of frameless glass panels. Out back, there's a large covered terrace that's accessible through the kitchen as well as the family room. There's also a swimming pool and spa out here which have been tiled in different colors. However, after Christina met her future hubby James and the two of them began contemplating having a family together, they put this home on the market, selling it at a bit of a loss for $1.37 million in 2014. Then they packed up their things and headed from LA to Brooklyn. It didn't take long for Christina and James to find what they were looking for, a semi-detached two-unit townhouse in Brooklyn's historic Fort Greene neighborhood. Centrally located and all but completely gentrified, Fort Greene has a long history of artists, actors, and musicians living there, including former literary giants like Walt Whitman, John Steinbeck, and Truman Capote. For a reported $2 million, Christina and John landed a townhouse that was originally built in 1901 and one that stands three stories tall with 25 feet of street frontage and a total of 2,205 square feet of living space. On the main floor is a garden level apartment that prior to their purchase had been rented out at around $2,000 a month. The inside of this space offers one bed, one bath and a combination living, dining and kitchen area that opens at the rear to a small deck and backyard. Meanwhile, the upper level duplex boasts solid oak hardwood floors and 11 foot tall ceilings on the parlor floor. There's also a living room with a gas fireplace that attaches to a combination dining room and center island kitchen. From there, residents can exit out to a small deck and staircase that leads down to the backyard. On the upper level of the duplex are two bedrooms that are joined by a prison cell sized study and a single hall bathroom. The exterior on the other hand, isn't as nice as the inside, that's for sure. In 2021, Christina would file a restraining order against her husband, stating that in December of 2019, he began to abuse her. In court documents, Christina explains that when the couple were forced into lockdown at this very house together, James attacked her twice in June 2020. After filing the paperwork, Christina provided some photographic evidence of what happened. Christina was worried that James's behavior could turn deadly as during a car ride in 2019, he allegedly threatened to kill her. Thankfully, her ex was forced to move out and Christina and her son were able to move on. Within the past year, she's met her new boyfriend, Mark Hampton, a hairstylist who she just recently had a baby girl with. So at least things have turned around for Christina. All right guys, that's gonna bring this Christina Ricci house tour to a close. Be sure to let me know what you thought down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you haven't, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.